Kevin Howe, project manager with Intel Finishing. Uh, we'll be able to attend the Midwest Coding Seminar this year. So I'm currently out on active job site doing our latest installation. I'm going to give you a brief tour of uh, where we're at. We're uh, still an active construction site here, so we don't have anything running. But uh, bear with me, and I'll show you some of the moving parts. Okay, right here we have uh, what we call our lift section. This is basically an elevator style drop section. The orange pieces of the conveyor uh, will come down to a, a lower height to make it more ergonomic for uh, connecting the parts to the carrier. And then it will raise back up uh, after the part information is loaded on and send the carrier into the system. Uh, some of the control stations we have uh, right here we'll have a touch screen um, that will display some different information on the parts. So, uh, we're going to have a barcode scanner here to scan in some of the part information given to us by the customer. These are some of the load bars that are not installed yet, but this is uh, going to be the mechanical piece that supports uh, picture frame hangers that are, are going to be supporting the customer parts. Uh, the trolleys here, I'm going to try and get a little closer look at. The metal trolleys are the load trolley. That's what supports the weight of the entire piece. And then the, the rubber wheels on the top are what contact our spinning tube and pro provide the propulsion for the conveyor system. It's a friction setup with the spring tension pressing against the tube. And uh, our system's unique in that, that we can go forward and reverse. Uh, directions as well. So this typical uh, configuration here is capable of supporting 3,000 pounds including the weight of the load bar itself. From our elevator section, the lift section, we then proceed uh, downstream towards a manual wash booth area. Um, this instance, uh, the customer provided this wash booth themselves. Uh, we are interfacing to it. We're going to control the doors. The doors slide uh, pneumatically open and closed. And internal will be more like a manual car wash bay. Um, the, the operator will select, I uh, believe they've got a cleaner rinse, a phosphate rinse, and a sealer. Uh, keep the parts from flash rust. So we come out of the, the wash bay into a small drip zone. Uh, this is a manual pull through section by the way. The customer wanted that as a little cost savings and in the future it's going to run less volume here. Phase two we're going to put an automated wash parallel to this. So we'll branch out most of the parts go through the automated wash section. Um, these parts then will be pulled up here to the first motorized section after the booth and then we'll go to uh, air blow off, which you can see here. Think of a car wash system with the uh, nozzles and some big uh, electrically powered air blowers. Then the nozzle will be directed at the parts to dry off uh, any of the residual water. After the blow off, we go into a dry off oven section. Uh, this oven's a little smaller, it uh, holds one carrier at a time. Um, and this is basically to help boil any of the residual water off that was not taken care of in the air blow off stage. And also to preheat the part, getting it uh, ready prior to powder coating. Okay, we come out of the dry off oven uh, around the corner. Our system is basically a large oval. And then we are going now to the uh, powder uh, coat paint booth. This is all uh, manually applied. Uh, powder station at this time. Uh, they'll have a couple operators in here, one on each side, uh, applying the powder coat to the parts. Uh, they'll also have some monitors in here showing them what colors they're supposed to be painting and what's coming up next. Uh, as I said, this is still an active job site, so construction phase is still ongoing. So we come out of the powder coat paint, and next station is the cure oven. This is a 450 degree powder oven. Uh, it has three motor stations in it. We'll be able to hold three full carriers worth of parts. 
at a time in this station for curing. This is the exit of the cure oven when the, the units are finished curing. They'll come out. Um, there again, it's an oval conveyor. They'll come out to a few storage places here, give them time to cool down a little bit. And then we're right back to the beginning. This is the back side of the uh, lift elevator section that we, we saw to start with. So uh, that's our uh, current project in progress. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to see what we have going on.